Hi, Pisces. This is Jeffrey. This is Red Color, and this is your reading for the month of September. My legs are crossed. I have to cross them. This is not the most ideal setup. All right. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. Uh, please become a member. So this is your reading for September. And so my little mini message is name it and claim it. That's what I heard. Name it and claim it. Okay. So, I, you know, Scorpio had a certain, um, I just did Scorpio. So Scorpio also had this energy of like something new beginning. So I, I feel something similar, but I feel like it's already begun for you. It's like some new skill or some new opportunity or experience that you've started and it's kind of like, it's good. So I feel like, you know, go forward, move forward with it. Nice. Hmm. All right. The emperor, uh, you know, he delegates, he's in charge, he's stable, he takes action, like, in, in, a, in a really directed way. And uh, I have another force of stability of thought. And then I have the hanged man who I got for Scorpio as well. And the hanged man is really about a willing self-sacrifice. So I feel like if you're not the, the type that's really been in charge or really been the one, like it comes down to you, like that sort of thing, I think it's now it's time to like step into that energy, to step into that to step into you know people are going to ask you for your opinion and it's not like well i don't know it's like no you do know yeah and you know what i get from this card today this energy is really about going away from the term uh, the turbulence of self-doubt and moving into your clear vision of where you want to go so it, you know it's a little bit you know how certain people like let's say there are three or four people and um, no one can make up there. You're going to dinner. You'll meet at a corner or at a bar, right? And then you're going to go to dinner and people are like, oh, I don't know. And you know, your your thing is that we're going for Italian is around the corner. Or it, it's a little bit like that. It's a little bit like you know, step into that. Step into the, uh, into leadership and to uh, using your intuition to guide and lead others. Hmm. yeah because this is done you know that energy of um uh, well that's interesting because that you know this could be about grief but it's also it's a change in your emotional um situation actually that's what it is it's it's a change so instead of um being self-doubting and, and you know second guessing yourself i feel like it's really time to stop second guessing yourself go with your instinct you're a pisces and take others along with you you know if it if it comes up it was supposed to come up you know and if you're supposed to and if you're supposed to share it you're supposed to share it right like no more wallflower yeah because you're really clear because you're really clear Super duper clear. That's what I'm really getting. Yeah, the past is over. It's time to move forward. You know, you're going to be getting a lot of messages. You're going to be getting a lot of messages and you're you're going to know which cup to take because you're super discerning. So it, it, I, I get to, you know, swords can sometimes be intuition too. But what I'm really getting is that you're going to feel it and then you're going to be able to utilize it and make sense in your head and then move forward with it. Yeah, because you're the one who's in touch with the light. Yeah, trust yourself. Trust yourself. Don't take on other people's thoughts. And it's like, you're going to be tempted to say, no, I don't really want it. It's like, this is what happens if you don't take it. Like this is that, that, you know, you get into this place of, oh, I knew I should have said something. So if you're getting stuff, share it, lead people,
help people because otherwise I think you're going to feel really badly. Yeah. And you know what? I, today, this, use this as a two by four to knock out the self doubt. Sometimes I get with that ace of wands, I get like this energy of, uh, you know, you got to knock something out, use it as a baseball bat, you know, use it as a, uh, a battering ram, use it as a, it's a little bit like that sometimes, right? And I think that's, um, it's really about burning out self-doubt and following how you feel and following your intuition and, um, you know, stepping up to the plate in terms of um, helping others. You know, I, I'm not saying you should call everyone and say, oh, I got this on you. You know, it's a little bit that they have to ask and then you offer. Not me. Instead of, you know, I, I'm not saying be caretaker. I'm saying when the time is right and you'll know when the time is right, you can um, assist others. And I feel like that puts you in a position of um, wanting to be trusted, wanting to be looked toward want to be a uh, counselor like that. That's the energy I'm getting. Because he's also the counselor. All right. Um, whoops. Being in charge. This I have three fours, by the way. This is about stability, right? It's about stability. It's about emotional and mental stability overall. Okay. Uh, being in charge, attuning with spirit, letting go of self-doubt, trusting yourself, going to a new place in your head, you know, a you know, an understanding of the gifts that you have and not looking at them as this uh, burden, but as a gift, being really clear, um, moving confidently with your thoughts, the one who lets go of the past and moves forward. Um, being able to manifest dreams. I never read it like that. Um, the surgeon who knocks out all the unnecessary things. Um, the truth that can't be unseen. I feel like, you know, you're going to have these gifts and then if you don't share them, you're going to be in this place of anxiety and your job is to knock it out. Right? To knock it off. So like, don't second guess and doubt. I feel like that's what's really coming up for you. And that's like the muscle that you have to uh, learn how to use. That's what I'm really feeling. It's like, this is the muscle. This is the gift that was given to you by spirit. And it's time to step up to the plate because, you know, the world is changing so rapidly and, um, and people are freaked. And, you know, if you can be the calmness and the storm and, uh, you know, help people, then that's your job. That's what I'm really feeling. All right. Um, putting the cards together. <laughs> Blessings to you. Have a lovely September. Thanks for tuning in.